Front Porch Review. Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. It's been a while since we've done a front porch review, and so I thought I'd bring it back to the Everyday Tactical Vids channel for us. So if you've never seen a front porch review before, literally it's here sitting on the uh, steps of my front porch. And um, yeah, cars go by, people walk by, I just kind of go with it. So um, today we're going to be talking about this, which is the Benchmade 365 Outlast. I got this from LA Police Gear. It's available over on the website. I've got a link down below in the description section if you want to pick up one of these knives. So this is a newer knife from Benchmade. It is in the black class, uh, which is usually built for kind of tactical applications, law enforcement, military, EMTs, those types of personnel. Um, it is kind of the next version going back to the original kind of style of those rescue knives was the triage and then they've made a couple different versions of that. So the Outlast has a bunch of features that are similar to the triage and then some additional features as well. All right, so similar to the uh, triage, we do have the carbide glass breaker there on the end and we also have the rescue hook. This is in 440C. Let me just show you deployment real quick there. So there's a thumb stud on the side and you're just basically going to slide it up. And um, yeah, when you're holding it like this and pulling against a strap or a piece of cord, it's just going to cut really nicely. To put the hook away, you're basically just going to fold it down like that. Now, uh, something that makes this definitely different than the triage is that it's got a really nice S30V blade, but it also has this CPM3V blade as well. Now, the, the lock system looks similar to your standard access lock, but it's actually called the option lock. And the reason that um, it's got a detent in it and the reason that it's different than the access lock is that if you held back on this and then tried to swing out the, uh, the blades, you get both blades to come out, which you don't want. You want to pick the blade that you want to have come out. So you deploy the plain edge with a thumb stud, like so. And you can see the cutout there for your serrated edge. I wish I could tell you I could just flip that out really smooth. I'm just not really that good at it. So I get it started with my middle finger and then finish it out. With my uh, with my thumb, so I got to work on that. But anyhow, so we have a CPM 3V blade with serrations. Um, does have that flat tip so that you can get in there and pry. Uh, CPM 3V for the serrated blade, and then S30V for this blade. You can see it's got a swedge up on the top there. You can see that, and then similarly with the uh, with the serrated blade as well. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, you can see there's a swedge there on the top. 3.59 inches for your plain edge, a little bit less for the serrated blade. 8.41 inches from end to end, and your blade thickness is going to be 0.09 inches. Now your weight for the Outlast is 5.96 ounces, so it's not super lightweight. If you want a super you know, lightweight, compact uh, EDC blade, then this is not the one for you. Now in addition to the weight, you've got a 0.69 inch thick handle, so it's definitely a chunky knife. You do have a uh, option to put the pocket clip on either side and it is a nice deep pocket clip as you can see there. There is no hole for a lanyard FYI. Another cool feature about your serrated blade is that hole, let me just show it right there, but that hole is going to be able to be used as an O2 wrench as well. So that's not something for me, but again if you're in law enforcement, military, EMT, doing that type of work, that's an additional feature built into the knife. So why this knife for me? Um, I love the triage. I think it's an awesome knife and I like having some additional features beyond just the knife being an EDC blade. So with the triage, I loved having the rescue hook. Actually, mine started to um, loosen up, not in a bad way, but just get kind of broken in. Um, and I would just sit and flick that thing open and shut, open and shut. Um, but this is a great tool, um, not just for, I mean, obviously for cutting straps of seatbelts if you had to rescue somebody from a car. Um, but I knew a guy who used to cut um, zip ties all the time. He would secure stuff to the top of his car and then when he got home, boom, just zip through the zip ties with this. I mean, it makes sense that LA Police Gear would carry a knife like this, but you know, beyond LA Police Gear and again, people in that line of work, having something that's got some other bells and whistles is really nice. Um, S30V for steel, for the steel for a blade. It's a nice solid, um, a nice solid blade, good profile, nice chunky handle so you can have really good control to, uh, to do your cuts. And then to have this additional blade, so you've got serrations, you've got a plain edge, you've got an option for prying, which is great. Um, yeah, I, I'm the O2 wrench not going to be a thing for me. Um, the carbide glass breaker, that's a win as well. You know, just in case you really had to. Here's the here's the deal: is that you come across a situation where you need that, and you're glad you have it. The rest of the time, it doesn't really get in the way for you. 
So why not have it if you might, might need it someday? So here's a look at it up close again. G10 for your handles. And then here's the other side. Cool, cool knife. I've had a chance to carry this a little bit, but I want to EDC it a little bit more. So basically what I'm going to do is cut the video here and I'll come back and finish on the front porch uh, with the rest of the review after I've had a chance to use this and EDC it a little bit more. And I'll get some footage of me actually doing some, uh, some cutting with this knife. All right, we're back here on the front porch to wrap up talking about the Benchmade Outlast as a truck drives by. Um, so I'll roll in some footage here so you can see what it looks like in use. I have uh, used it in the footage you're seeing now and then also just kind of general everyday care use. I'm definitely using the plain edge more than the serrated edge. That's just like what I need for uh, everyday use in my life. Uh, but I have used the serrated edge uh, a bit as well, particularly to hack up some, uh, some cardboard and some cordage and, uh, and it works well. And um, so yeah, so here's my, here's my bottom line thoughts on this knife. First thing is that um, for a lot of people, the size, the overall just like thickness of the profile and the weight, that's going to be something that's going to make them say, you know, I just want something a little bit sleeker, slicker, like if you're a uh, Benchmade uh, 940 fan, the Osborne, if you like that, I mean, that's definitely a, a thin, small profile. This is definitely a bigger profile. So for some people, that's going to be a deal breaker, just the size and the weight. I've said before, I don't mind the size of this knife. Um, it works well. For me, I don't mind a large EDC knife in general. So yeah, that didn't bother me. The, the win of this one obviously is gonna be multiple blades, multiple cutting options. I mean, you got basically five tools. The O2 wrench, the plain edge, the serrated edge, the glass breaker, and the rescue hook all in one knife. From a company that makes good quality knives, uh, S30V, 3V for the um, serrated edge. I mean, just overall, it's, it's top notch for the overall build and everything. So that being said, if you have applications for this knife, I think you're definitely gonna like it. Uh, price point right now is going to be 200 plus. Um, I'm going to put right down here at the bottom the best price I can find right now at the time of this video because it fluctuates depending on um, how new a knife is and also where you pick it up. So I'll put the best price I can find. Usually it's Amazon uh, because of just the sheer volume of what um, Amazon's able to carry uh, unless there's a particular sale um, at your, you know, a Blade HQ, uh, a Blade Ops, a uh, DLT, is it DLT? Trading? Yeah. So anyhow, different, different stores out there. Um, but right down here is I'll put the price for for you guys so you can see what it's currently costing um, For me, I've been EDCing saying this for probably two and a half weeks straight and I like it I've used it. I can tell you when I take it out to like I was cutting a calzone the other day at work around like maybe four or five co-workers and They were like whoa look at that thing So it does have kind of a tactical look obviously and then just it's heftier as opposed to kind of like a You know a small gentleman's fold or something like that from Benchmade, something like the fact is very slick and sleek. I think it'd be probably a little bit less intimidating. Probably still a little bit intimidating, but not as much as this guy. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the Outlast. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, especially if you've owned like any of the triage knives as well. What do you think about this one compared to those knives? All right, guys. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.